Download the podcast at kcaaradio.com. KCAA. To another episode of Palm Trees in Progress presents on NBC KCAA 102.3 FM, 106.5 FM, and 10:50 AM in the Inland Empire and worldwide on all streaming platforms. I'm your host Eric Savior Solosorio, and joined with us as always is the better half of the show, Andrew Berkeley, Big Dog Tavares. Go, 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 go. Oh, let's go, let's go. And for uh, some of the listeners who may not see right now via KCAAradio.com the live stream. Andrew's just getting giddy over there, just getting it. Uh, he's letting it cook, no cap. He's killing it. And uh, I gotta get my maid on. He's, what? Well, he's getting his maid on. I. This is a thing that he's gonna explain to me in a little bit, which I'm pretty stoked. But uh, as always, we got a great show planned for the listeners. We'll be chopping it up, going over some news articles that we uh, skimmed and pretended to read, as well as uh, talk about a couple recent viral videos. And uh, I've been working uh, on. Um, Trying to trying to get the videos going on this live stream, so I think I think I finally got it down. We're gonna see if it goes through a little bit. We'll see if it goes through a little bit smoother. But if not, you know, I mean, that's just I guess that's half the fun of cooking up. Uh, I hope everyone had a great. Let him uh, cook. Let him cook. I hope everyone had a great uh, and fun and safe Labor Day weekend. Um, I know your boy did. Andrew cannot wait to get to hearing. What Ooh. what uh yeah got into you know what I I want to say I am missing our um senior correspondent today uh I got used to having him here and uh I guess you, I took him for granted I took our senior correspondent for granted and he said he was gonna be here today and then later on um what why was why is he said he wasn't gonna be here after the fact Andrew I was just about to say oh he, I put on my angel stuff yeah yes he might be getting. Tickets. He said he was like, "Oh, I'm on the mission of maybe getting tickets for the Angels Dodgers game today." And uh, did the Angels win yesterday during the? Uh, I I missed it. Uh, they did not. You didn't. You didn't see it at all. No, no, I did see someone. Was that the same game where someone pitched a 105 mile per hour ball? It was. It was the same game. Okay. But so, um. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost. We we were tied going into the bottom of the ninth. Uh, that's when that pitcher, our closer, threw that 105.5 mile per hour fastball, which was insane. Wow, uh, I did get to see that live. That was cool. Um, but yeah, so we went into the bottom of the ninth, did nothing. So we went to extra innings. Otani starts off the inning with a triple that scores a run. And then two other Dodgers get on base. And then Mookie Betts comes up to bat and hits a home run. And this is just in the first it, first top half of extra innings. Oh, Dang that! What so, a game! What a game! So sad, dude. It was so sad. We were tied two-two, extra innings, and then all of a sudden it turned into six to six-two. Uh, did you make it to the stadium uh, to go watch the game live? No, I didn't. I, I definitely was trying to, but it didn't end up working out. Uh, I should have bought tickets early. If yeah. I would have bought tickets early, I just, I dude, I couldn't get behind me going knowing that they were going to lose oh. and angel stadium was going to be full of dodger fans yeah that's enough to keep uh anyone away i i believe honestly oh man i just <laughs> i would go if i was confident if we were going to win yeah but the fact that i can't be confident about it i don't want to go in here one well, i bet you walking out of that stadium sucks after yeah. a loss, <laughs> out of your own stadium. Yeah, yeah, I could only, I could only imagine. <laughs> oh, dude. So that. So, where'd you go? Where'd you go catch it out? Do you have a uh, some nice cold ones out somewhere? Or did you catch it at the house? Uh no, I just caught it at the house. Oh. Uh, I was gonna go out with some friends, and then uh, I was gonna go out tonight. Oh, dude, you know what's crazy? What is I crazy? just checked the score. Uh huh. Take yes. So what? The bottom of the second. Uh, a, two, two zero. Okay. Who do you think? Uh, Angels up. Ooh, you got that part right. 
Six zero. Six zero. Angels up. Oh man. You know, I'm hoping we get a call from our uh, senior correspondent out on the field, and I hope we hear him a little sad and drunk while he's just like seeing Angels win. Damn, Beat the you Dodgers. It's too late to buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? Why don't you 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 should get up on that? See if Vivid Seats or whoever's like potential wants to sponsor us. What oh what what surprises? Because I know we uh, looked about it earlier in the like probably last month. And there were some seats behind home base for like a grand. I think like twelve hundred dollars. What what's the price are we looking at right now? Uh, right now it says one fifty. Oh, but I saw I saw a fifty three dollar one. Uh oh, heck yeah. Let me see. But yeah. How, besides cool. that, how was your Just Labor Day weekend? Did did you do uh did you go out anywhere? Did you stay local? Uh, we stayed local. Uh, let's see. Saturday. Uh, Saturday, I had my fantasy football draft, which is awesome. Back to football. Football, get, get baby. Sports. Let's go, dude. Are you going to watch this year? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's. I found that it's pretty fun to do that while you're drinking. It's nice to have that in the background instead of, uh, I don't know. Vanderpump? Well, actually, <laughs> chill, yeah. chill, actually chill out. Don't you talk about Vanderpump <laughs> that way. Don't you talk about, um, I, I'm really into Below Deck. I don't know if you heard of the show Below Deck Mediterranean. Uh, same trash television show, just like boat deck people on yachts and just getting mistreated by like rich people. It's pretty good television. And basically, what is it? Basically, what is it about your older generation, man? I don't Everything know. Really into I don't it, know. Dude. And basically, anything that Andy Cohen uh, like hosts the uh, or, or yeah host the reunion show of i'm in i'm dialed that's, in that's i'm in andy cohen's a legend uh psh, big fan big fan uh what, what is it what is it about him that sells you hmm. you know what i feel i feel like from all reunion what nick lachey doesn't do uh if you are familiar with the love is blind reunion uh he hosts that with his wife uh he just kind of calls people out for like their trash behavior and like, uh, it was funny today before I came to work, uh, watched an episode or two, uh, with him. Is and uh, he said to uh, it was a reunion episode. He said to one of the guys who's like, kind of just sucks, you know, like most of these people just are really uh, just entitled people who are like treat people like trash. He was like, oh, you treat me. Yeah, ex- exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Except these people are on TV and have uh, a reason to do it, I suppose. But uh, <laughs> but um, he, he was like, well, you're judging me off of like th- that. You're judging me off of like the two days or something. And then Andy Cohen snapped back with something out of rewind. I was like, oh, you get him, Andy. He was like, he's judging you off of your behavior and your actions <laughs> that you are doing. And I was like, all right. <laughs> Kind of, kind of got him pretty good with that. I, I, I said up earn. Up <laughs> earn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's what. All right. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I'm trying to think about how many shows I've seen with Andy Cohen. Pro- probably, <laughs> probably all of them. Well, uh, I was out in Oceanside this past weekend, man. I, I stayed out there for four nights. It was a good, good old time. Uh, what? Uh, four nights. That's beautiful. Oh Where'd yeah. Where'd you stay at? Uh, uh, the missus got an Airbnb. Right next to the pier, so it's like about a two-minute, three-minute walk from the pier, uh, in the downtown area, I guess. I'm not too familiar with uh, O side. Apparently, I've seen a lot of trash cans that said O side on it, and I was like, oh, oh, it's pretty cool. O side, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, it was awesome. Um, they have a pizza. I think they have a pizza port there, right? You know what? I always thought that as well, uh, and I was like, oh, there should be a pizza port around here, because. You see it on the on the can, right? Is that what you're basing that off of? I thought. Uh, well, I also thought I went to one in Oceanside, but maybe, maybe it was. In... Maybe they used to, because I I unless it's like a a Mandela effect situation. Uh, I looked it up, and I guess the closest one was uh, uh Ocean Beach is one is one where there's that, and I didn't know that was a thing. Ob. Oh, Dang. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Is that is that what they call it? Yeah, that's what they call it. Oh they man, it. you did it so you did it so good. I couldn't tell if you were new boot goofing on me, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't. No, I, I think there was one up there. Um, I thought there was for sure was one over by the beach. Maybe it's like S is it Ensenadas? Oh yeah, I know they also have a, in Escondido. They have a nice uh, stone brewery. Yeah, dude, we were like, uh, have you gone to Oceanside uh, a bunch? I know you weren't too far from there. Yeah. 
Oh, we, we've, we've gone there a few times. Yeah, uh, there's a stone brewery like two minutes away from us, which was pretty cool. Had to go hit that up. Got some uh, souvenirs, some glass cup souvenirs that I totally paid for from Stone Brewery. Uh, and then... Oh, yeah. how much are those running you nowadays? Uh, I think they come complimentary with the beer. I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I like that. I don't That's ask about company. it, though. I don't ask. I just assume. I just assume. And if they get me, I'm like, I didn't. No, that's. I mean, I do this in every brewery. I didn't know this was a thing. Ooh, see, dude, it does say. Oh no, it's Carlsbad, ah. not Oceanside. Yeah, yeah. Um, not man. Yeah, it was pretty but cool. Pretty cool. Other time. than that, Labor Day. Yeah, sorry, I was gonna say. Yeah, then I went to the beach on Sunday. That was pretty good. Ooh, nice. Uh, what we beach? Uh, we went to Newport. We got there pretty early. Uh, so parking wasn't too bad mm. and we just we hung out there all day I think we didn't leave until like maybe maybe 10 30 at night and we got there around like 9 30. oh what a beautiful day so, at the, dang that's right dude what a beautiful day at the beach do they have yeah. uh do they have uh bonfires over there I always forget which ones have them yeah uh some at the end okay I think Newport by the pier the first pier has a has some pits but I know down by uh which uh, was it Baboa? Baboa uh -huh. Pier, they have another set of pits over there as well. So oh, I think by both piers. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, you guys didn't take any wood or any, do you guys, cause it sounds like you guys got early, there early enough to be able to secure a fire pit if uh, you guys wanted. Yeah, one of our friends uh, lives right there by the beach. So we just walked up, you know, from her house and back. And then at the end of the night, we were all dead. Yeah, just went over there, that's right. Walked over to the house. Like, it, we, were, we were playing baseball. Um, wow. wow! Have you ever played this game with a frisbee, and you're trying to knock over a can or a bottle or something, and you have to catch it and the frisbee? No, that, that that sounds amazing. That sounds it super sucks. fun. It sucks. It, it's it's it, no, it's awesome. Dude. Oh, it's okay, okay. It's one of those games. Oh, and and you have to have a drink in one hand. So, the, there's a can that's on. Uh huh. It's on a little pole on the stick. For the and listeners, Andrew is 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 uh, having a little beer. He's showing me he's like uh, pantomiming a beer or a drink. I'm sorry, it's <laughs> it's a drink. It's a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go on. I'm sorry to be cut you off. It could be soda. It could be, be soda. Like. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, so you have to have your own drink in your hand. You have an empty can, and then you have a partner. And so someone's just throwing the other team's throwing a frisbee at it, trying to knock over the pole or the or the can. And you got to catch either. You have to catch both. The empty can and the frisbee. It's pretty fun with one hand. Oh, heck yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I also saw Spike Ball uh, when I was at the beach. Am I saying it right? The one where it looks like a little uh, a trampoline and you hit the ball on the. F uh, you like. Do you know what I'm talking about? It. Yeah, Spike Ball. Oh, Spike Ball. That looks, that looks like a fun one. That looks like a fun one. Um, probably, probably, probably play that in some denim shorts, like Top Gun style. What's up? <laughs> hey, know. that's not a bad. That, that's actually a pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys weren't playing in denim shorts on the beach? Wait, no, no, that wasn't the thing this year. But I think we got to bring that back. Yeah, weird, weird. You guys weren't doing that. Oh man. Uh, so um, you know, we will continue talking about Labor Day uh, adventures. I got a, I got a pretty funny couple stories. Uh, but you know what? Let me see. Since we we're talking about getting the visual medium up a little bit more, uh, we will definitely describe what we watch. But uh, let's let me, <laughs> let's let's see if I could figure this out, ASAP Rocky what? style. Hold on, hold on. Uh, why don't you talk while I get this going? Uh, you know, just yeah. uh, you could do Is a poem, it, you might, on haiku. Do you mind if it's smack talk? Because I think we need to get a new I'll audio engineer. I'll, I'll, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All I right. think I think we need to find someone, Eric, that can get this problem solved. Okay, I am starting it. Let's see. And there, Bam, it is. there it is. Let's go. All right. Let's see if I can close this thing. Get over there. Ba ba boom. Okay. All right. Keep keep talking. Uh, keep talking. Wow. No, I'm just so impressed with how this All right. this man is oh. hosting a radio show and playing Jamie. I want you to watch this and trying to be funny. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Oh, this video's still being prepared. Lacking. This video's still being prepared. Dang it. Oh, it's almost done. Okay, so, Andrew, you can see what's going on, kind of. All right, here it is. Ooh, this is amazing. 
<laughs> how you got this video recorded uh-huh baffles me yeah, it just baffles me but i knew how i now have this on my phone i mean on my ipad so that's gonna be something to explain and you didn't to download this previously this isn't something you were into before. Oh, right. Okay, so <laughs> this this gentleman won the uh, oh. most table ten uh, most table tennis balls bounced against a wall and back into his mouth. And um, all I gotta say is, dude, what does that mouth do? That is wild. How long? How many seconds did he get? Uh, uh I don't have that right here. Uh, pro probably in the other post, but. Yeah, oh, yeah, we didn't yeah. see in the caption in the comments. Dang it! It it does. It does, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm only yeah. Screen record. Yeah. I did screen record. Yeah. I screen recorded. I screen recorded. I screen recorded. <laughs> all right, Jamie. That was all right. Time, but... I'm doing all right. I'm doing a little better. I'm doing a little better. I, I, I could also help you out on that end too. Um, I'm sure I could find ping pong. Yeah, because I didn't want to. I didn't want to send this to you, honestly, because I was like, I wanted to get your actual reaction. Uh, in... That's crazy. <laughs> in the mouth. The yeah. Most ping pong balls. It's like what in the... thirty seconds. Is that what it was in thirty seconds? And oh, so you you found it? I found it. Okay. I sent this to my there friend on Instagram, and I said, "This is you." <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, imagine getting that I thought of you when I saw this <laughs> yeah no I, I had a jump on that before and you know what I'm reading the comments right now Zach Gray says I could use that mouth uh, another one says arrest this man I like this one at what point does Genna say nah we're not gonna do that one <laughs> that's a good one. Oh man what a legend how how much time do you think it took him to like whoop i'd like to see the bales you know what i mean like just like in skate videos i i love seeing the dudes like slam do awesome stuff but i would hate to see some of the bales too on that one that's a good that is a good point thank you I mean, thank yeah, you I'm sure I, could, that's kind of what sure i do I, find... I do that i do that sorry i'm sure we can find this i'm just i'll just copy pastes and then i'll put fail at the end <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh so that so definitely just need, definitely needed to load that up uh just because because that was funny that's what the show sorry guys we kind of like to have you know fun what? on the Eric, show we kinda, found, try to be a little funny I just, I just found the original video of that mm -hmm. and did you slow mo it like on the part that's like super zoomed in on his mouth that's weird. I'm just, trying to learn Final yeah. Cut, okay? I'm messing with Final Cut. I, I got I don't have enough footage of my own, so I got to Why'd you pick that part to slow down on? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Why'd I, you... I thought he I thought he looked cool. I thought I thought he looked like a cool dude. A cool oh, that's awesome. dude. Did you oh, man. You know he's just getting he's I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm watching some fails now. Oh, oh really? Oh, one guy choked. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you sure you're watching the right videos? I don't think I don't think you are. Oh, and oh, thank you. Oh, this YouTube search is gonna be weird. Uh, Anyways, and thank you for always uh, for tuning into Palm Trees into Progress presents on NBC KCA. Don't forget to check out our uh, website palmtreesinprogress.com and uh, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe on Palm Trees and Progress YouTube as well as like Instagram. So all social media is Palm Trees and Progress. Um, and just, TikTok right? and TikTok. Yeah, I'm the TikTok. Oh. Of course, and I'm the, the TikTok. I'm the TikTok. Oh, Wait, man. Dude, so what type of music do you listen to nowadays, anyways? Hmm? So what type of music do you like listen to when you're driving in the car? Oh, dude. Or what do you choose? Uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of pop punk, and then like when some of my favorite like uh, hip hop artists um, drop uh, new al albums, I'll, I'll check check in to see how I feel about it. A lot, a lot of times, I'm like, ha. Ah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but but currency's still always dropping some cool stuff. Big big fan of him consistently dropping stuff. Uh, Blue in Exile. Uh, we were talking about him last week, I believe, right? Um, he he's dropped Blue in Exile, dropping a new project, I believe, next month. I'm looking forward to that. Anything Blue drops, uh, he has a collaborative album with Evidence. Uh, so excited to hear that as well, dude. And that's that's dope. The last week, um, I mean, or just like the show that. We, like the guest that we had on last week mm. that he was putting on and that he had um, a crazy lineup and just 
what he's doing with that yeah. record shop. So shout out to the Elements Shop again in Riverside, throwing a free concert um, on the seventh of this month. So I believe it's Saturday, September seventh. Blue and Exile in, uh, in you know in the shop rocking a uh, a show. Super intimate performance. I've seen them like at the observatory before, a huge, you know, what I mean, pretty big venue. And uh, recently in Santa Ana, at a pretty big venue too. So I'm excited to see them in such an intimate kind of free and a free show. You know, like I, I've paid to see them a bunch of times. They, they used to rock like pay dues and rock the bells all the time. Dude, that's dope. What? Mm -hmm. So you're going for sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I've, I've driven to Santa Ana just to go see them like multiple times so to see him like oh, uh, around the corner uh, i cannot miss him cannot oh that's sweet yeah that's gonna be dope yeah and you're gonna be out uh where are you going you said uh san diego i am i'll be down in san diego uh for the pfl fights actually the what uh and you do it the what uh you know what ufc is ah uh, like is that the thing where a lot of those people who participate like usually have like domestic abuse charges too, or, or the just the, uh, or or just one. or just the owner. No, uh, both actually. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dana White smacked yeah. the heck out of his wife, right? Uh, go <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> What's up, dude? I know, I know sports. <laughs> I didn't know you knew that sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But go on, go on. No, so uh, one of Antonio's friends uh, got us, or she's actually like one of the PR. Um, I guess she is a PR person for the PFL and she got us all tickets, hooked us up in San Diego. Oh, awesome. Uh, they're they're going to be funding down there. So that's going to be a good time, dude. It'll be fun. We got an Airbnb. Uh, maybe we'll check out a Padres game, but we'll just be going to the beach down there too. And uh, her, her sister's coming down as well from Arizona. Oh man, that sounds like an awesome time. Try to get some uh, footage or something. I don't know. Do something cool so you could talk about it next week about it. Uh, uh, you too. I can't. I don't. I. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you're going to that show, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll. I'll. Uh, I'll recap. Maybe try to. Think. Oh, I'll try to. I'll try to get a video too, as well of like somebody getting knocked out. Yes. Yes. Speak we're, we're going to the fight. Yeah. There Spe we go. Speaking of people getting knocked out, um, one of the funny things out in Oceanside was, uh, luckily I didn't get knocked out, so don't worry about it, guys. I'm still looking pretty. Um, I'm not gonna break a nail. You guys are tripping. Uh, so. We, we were bobbing around at night, uh, just popping from bar to bar. Oceanside has a real cool bar scene um, and a lot of breweries. Uh, so we saw a rooftop bar that had some nice music. You know, I, I'm a sucker for rooftop bars, especially next to the beach. I'm like, oh, what a beautiful view. So we That's pop awesome. up there. I go get around. No one's really dancing. It looks like a lot of people are on like on first dates, like, kind of like a Tinder. Like, you know, just a lot of people you could tell. Uh, just on first dates. And I love seeing first <laughs> dates. Uh, dude, isn't it the funniest to see like an over here awkward, like getting to know conversations? I think I would rather yeah. stay a virgin if it meant me having to like talk to, like hit on a girl in public and, and, and possibly get turned down and someone else, else overhear it. Yep, agreed. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Cause, I agree. Cause that, that is always the toughest thing to see. Like uh, just someone like, Eat, like hard getting rejected and that walk of shame dude is something that i don't think my confidence can let me deal with without jumping off of uh like a like a like not not, not like a building but like maybe like a ledge maybe hurt my ankle <laughs> you know what i mean something like that enough to hurt but yeah i'll be fine alive. i'll be fine i'll walk it off i'll walk it off throw a little dirt on it but um so we go there and then we both kind of agree me and the missus uh agree that it's like ah, oh, it's a little Little um hmm broy here or something like that. So we end up we end up getting out of there and uh there is a uh a cool spot on the floor. Um DJ's hitting it, super cool DJ playing a bunch of jams, and then everyone the dance floor is popping. You know, everyone's seeming to have a good time. So we're like, oh we see it, let's go over there. We walk in, um security guard checks our ID and then uh He's it nice again. He, he's nice to me. It worked again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got someone that makes a good fake. So uh, <laughs> the same person who made a super bad McLovin's. So uh, uh, she's also from Hawaii, Kansas now or Kentucky. I forget. But um, 
as soon as we were like ordering a drink, we're talking to the security guard and the bartender, just kind of, uh, we're just making nonsense jokes. I, I bring up WWF and, uh, and, and Dudley boys. And that gets the security guard so stoked. He's like, yeah, I'll bring out the tables. So we're all just <laughs> fool, fooling around. And then from the corner of my eye, I see some people getting like, uh, uh like a little, um, rowdy with, with one another. And then they start scrapping and um, I just kind of see it in the corner of my eye, and I'm like still trying, like, oh, what kind of hazies do you have here? <laughs> I just see it, and it was on the, in like the corner of the dance floor. From I'm kid you not, dude, like a minute prior, I was walking in, and the whole walk to it, it looked like the vibes were immaculate. Everyone was having a good old time, just dancing. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, and then just dude, like we, I still don't even get my ball, my drink, and I didn't have to wait by the bar for it at all. I walked in, immediately got served. But I'm just that's how quick the they got into it. And then, you know, the security guards all just chopping it up with us and I'm like, Oh hey, hey buddy, like uh there, there's some people like scrapping over there. They get they get dad and he's just like, Oh, 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 and just charges over there and then uh he, he breaks them up and um you know, they're still yelling at each other and uh I guess I don't wanna say the funny part is, but uh a funny part is that like uh one of the guys like he's making his way out and he uh like signals to the the guy he was fighting like come on meet me outside like you know let's go finish this outside and uh it looked cool like if a wrestler did it i'd be like that's a cool wrestler like macho man <laughs> would be proud and uh so you know they they go back outside and um i i, I guess keep throwing blows at each other and so I'm just enjoy I'm enjoying my time out there. So we're just like <laughs> drinking a beer and like talking. To the Even the uh, the bartender was like, "Dude, what happened?" She, she said like the the vibes here were awesome the whole time, like all night. It's been like everyone was cool. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I just saw them throwing throwing at each other. And then um, I see the guy who signaled for the uh, to to come continue outside face off busted. <laughs> He's like, just, just like, oh, it must have been like a humbling experience for the guy. Cause he, it seemed like it was going to be done until he said, Hey, come continue this conversation. Afuera. <laughs> so, so they went outside. Yeah. They went outside. And I was just like, oh, I think by that time we were on the dance floor, just like the dance floor was a little thinner, but we were still getting it. We were still like, oh dude, play, uh, play two hops this time. You know, <laughs> well, play, can you play wobble with me? I'll be a fan of a wobble up? with me. Uh, they not like us. What about that one, huh? Mm. Uh, uh, actually, a minor, of, right? I get it. I get, now nah, I get you. I get your joke. That makes <laughs> sense. Um, anyways, can we get in? Do, do we have any music lined oh, up at all? Oh yeah, man. Uh, throw me something. I'll, I'll throw it on. Shoot. I was trying to think about that. Um, Sp so while you think of music, oh, also let me read this article from January 12, 2003, off CNN. The headline is UFC President Dana White does not expect punishment for domestic violence incident. Oh, UFC's President Dana White said he does not expect punishment after a video emerged of him in a physical altercation with his wife earlier this month. White made the comments Wednesday at a media day for UFC Fight Night 217. Um, that's funny. I mean, <laughs> how know it like how you didn't hear about that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I dang, how long ago was that? It was last year, uh, January twelfth. So a little uh, uh -huh. like like you know, eighteen months ago. Dang man. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. So that's crazy. Well, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, what? Why? What makes sense, Andrew? <laughs> no. No. You know, I, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> Oh man! I plead the fifth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess he slaps her in a nightclub in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, what? on New Year's Eve. What? Wow! What a fun New Year's. That's crazy. <laughs> oh wow! 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 Jeez! 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 Yeah, crazy that someone that is the president of UFC would do something like this. It's kind of like, what the heck? And just slap on the wrist. <laughs> slap at the wrist. Wow. The base. Wow. Is that like a, like a nice wordplay from what he did? <laughs> so yeah, I totally meant to do that. On yeah. I mean, uh, you did bring up some music, uh, while we kind of think of some kind of music to play. Um, do you, 
like have any like favorite um sensors like that like on TV or music, like television or music, or any movies like where I can think of um Yippee uh Die Hard, like when they have when they play Die Hard on TBS or basic uh cable, and he's uh-huh. like Yippee Kaye, mother trucker. Yes. What and, about that? Yeah, like do you have any favorite ones that like stick to you? Like even from like songs? Like uh, any song on the radio where you're like, ha, that's not what he says. Someone recently mm. told me uh, an Incubus song said like, when they say the F word, he's like, bing. Like it just kind of does like a bing, like a weird, <laughs> like a sound effect like that. Uh, I could what think about, of, uh-huh, go on. Does a radio show count? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. So I'm trying to think about like big boy. Uh-huh. Um, do, 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 like, do, 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 cowbell. Yes. The cowbell. Cowbell for sure. Just like hearing that cowbell, like the cowbell, just always brings me back to going to elementary school, driving. <laughs> I mean, even till today, to this day, like I was, what, maybe two days ago, I was driving. I mean, they still had the cowbell. And I'm like, wow, this has been my whole life. Do you, do you remember the compilation of uh, <clears throat> like uh, radio interviews, how they, you know, they would do like before or after commercials or something like that? But like, it'd be a compilation of all of the people who visited Big Boy's oh. neighborhood. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a one that would play like probably 10 years ago for like five years straight. And I remember one of the things that me and my friend would say to each other and like, <laughs> and we didn't know, we didn't like be like big boys neighborhood, huh? He just, we just kind of said it once and I was like, is that from the big boy neighborhood compilation thing? It's like, <laughs> Hey, Chris Brown, how tall are you? And he's like, I don't know, like six, one, six, two. <laughs> that was like that was the best part of the conversation and interview that they clipped for him. And and also, since we're on domestic abuse, kept that well into the Rihanna uh, ab- domestic abuse. <laughs> they stay strong with it. Yeah, yep. you seem like it doesn't seem like as an audio engineer, you can just throw that on a program, clip that out real easy. The longest part of that might be loading the audio into the pro- the player. So they they hey. do they take us. They, 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 that was a choice. That was a decision. A hundred percent. We stand with Chris Dude, Brown. I, oh man! Not not to... us. Not Palm Do you know progress. where that station's at? Uh, is it not ninety three point five anymore? No, it's ninety two point three. Oh yeah, I don't know what I'm. Uh, yeah, ninety two point three K Day. It used to be. Is it still not? K, is it not K Day? The real. I think it's called the real now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I do remember when it when it changed. Uh, from I think that was that not K Day. Oh no! I thought ninety three point five is K Day, and then you said they're on ninety point ninety two point three now. Yeah. Did they? I think. Go on. I'm sorry. No, I think it's called yeah ninety two point three. The real. I know he was on Power one hundred six for a while, but then he switched over when they created this new station. Let us not forget Big Boy being on the Entourage. He was on Entourage before. Uh, yeah, hey, Vinny. You don't remember when Vinny and the boys go? Go promote Aquaman, the film, and it's at Big Boy's Neighborhood. You don't remember that episode, no. dude? It's a good episode. Dra- drama That's takes hilarious. batteries. Drama takes batteries from the uh, TV in the station. That's funny. Yeah, dude. I could go on. I, I got more details if we need it for that episode. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. We might need some, but I... Okay. So, Big Boy, do you remember when he used to be Big Boy? Yeah, dude. Didn't he have like surgery to lose weight? Dude, was it late? What was it called? Late. Yeah, yeah let's see. Let's see. I'm just gonna type in "big boy," sir, sir. No. Big boy after surgery. That that's what came up. Wow. Uh-huh. Do you have anything of him before? I uh, mean, any photos of him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do we have any like maybe before and afters that we could show? <laughs> let me try to <laughs> let me try to figure. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one right here. Damn. Uh, God. Okay, you 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 talk and uh, you keep talking. I'm gonna I'm gonna send this to myself. Oh, don't don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I I mean, unless the listeners want to see it, but I just looked up big boy before and after images. Not what I was trying to look at. Um, you, dude, uh, I'm reading an article off of TMZ that says right now, Big Boy, his weight helped hide, helped him hide uh, guns once during a police search. 
No way. <laughs> yeah. I believe it, though. He's, he For some said, reason, I believe it. Yeah, he said, uh, Radio Legend Big Boy is re uh, revisiting a time being overweight came in real handy. He says all the extra cushion helped him duck the gun charges that might have ended his career before it got started. Uh, Big Boy made the eye popping relevation on All the Smoke, uh, a show. Asked uh, about the urban legend that he had hit a gun <laughs> from the police in his body fat. So I guess yeah, he was 500 pounds. That's that's what he's. He, that, I think that might have been one of his highest. It was 500 pounds. Bro, you're kidding me. Yeah, that's that's what he's saying on this interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm looking at these pictures of the before and after, and this is wild. What? How? You know what's even I... crazier sentence uh, that I just read? Back before Will Smith convinced him to get surgery. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Simpsons, I mean, Will Smith's a good guy. He's like, yo, you got you got to do something. You, you're going to die. Oh. Oh, my. Almost 500 pounds. And Will Smith saved him. Yeah. And I guess I did not know this either. Dude, is this a big boy episode? Uh, baby, big boy. I guess he started off uh, as a bodyguard for uh, the Far Side. If you remember the rap group Far Side, she keeps uh, passing me by. Keep run, going. Run, keep going. Run, keep run. Ringing a bell. Run, run. Mm hmm. What uh, else you got? Uh, uh for, about big boy? No, you keep singing. Oh. Far side, this is the far <laughs> side. We ain't close, cause baby, we're far to find. Yeah. Wait, who sings that? Far side. Oh, okay, let's keep it that way. <laughs> Actually, it might surprise <laughs> you that was a little bit of an improv for you. Uh, you probably probably shocked to probably shocked to let you know. You can't, you can't do that, dude. You know we should have somebody on here and do a freestyle battle. We should have two people do freestyle battles. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. <laughs> no, it sounds pretty. It sounds pretty cool. Who, who do who do we have? Do we do we find people that are like in like uh, torn with each other, or like just. <laughs> Do it for the drama. Yeah, we could maybe Here's get like a reality TV show. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe we get like Andy Cohen to like host it or something. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like no. a good idea. To me. Oh man, I thought we had thought we had your boy jumping on right now. Who who that be? I don't know. We got a fourth in here. Oh okay, yeah yeah. Uh... I think that's you, huh? No. Dang, I thought it was uh. That was our cousin. Oh, I wish. Uh, oh. Speaking I of, I don't want I everyone to see all my are Still up six to zero for all you listeners out there that are Dodger fans, which I'm sure is a lot nowadays with them being a winning team. But <laughs> just to update everybody on this score, we go ahead and pull this up if you guys are interested in that update. It looks like we're still at six zero. All right, and what inning is it right now? It is going into the bottom of the fifth. Good guys, let's go. Up. Okay, so this Have you is. Have ever heard that saying? One more time. Have you ever heard that saying? Like good guys, bad guys. Like it'll be like you're playing a game against somebody, and you say, "All right, two, four, good guys," and you're the good guys, and you just automatically make the opponent the bad guy. <laughs> no. And then they start they start wondering and questioning, "Why am I the bad guy? Why is it me? Why is it me? Why can't?" It why can't you be the bad guy? Yeah, what do they do in their life to make them the bad guy? But they they know. They know. Oh, then they start thinking. They're in their head about it. I've, I've had it happen to a friend before. <laughs> completely, changed, <laughs> completely changed the mood of his night. Because he, he, he got in his head about... Why'd you keep calling me a bad guy? Did and then just he completely in his head. Like, what do you mean by it? And I was like, no, nothing, dude. Dude. I, mean, I learned it. I was like, I learned it from a game. I was like, I just thought it was like something funny. I was like, I thought I was trying to get in your head. And he was like, yeah. He's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, what? <laughs> wow. Oh, man. You uh, you, you lived in his head rent free, as the kids like to say. Oh, you are getting. Your nephews and nieces are making you pretty good. <laughs> yeah, skibbity toilet, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> oh, uh, but, 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 Matt, what you I you may, I had a, something I was gonna say, but my train of thought went. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, you, what you said about you the bad guys, um, and, and like you saying something and not realizing it kind of gets in their head. Uh, <laughs> I was playing baseball with some friends while when we were in college, and um, my buddy wore denim shorts. And oh, I no. I was like, while we were playing baseball on a baseball field, um, I was like, and I was pitching, and I was like, uh, are you? He's at bat. Are those base? Are those denim shorts? I haven't worn denim shorts since like the third grade. It is something like small like that. Just an off the co- off the cuff uh, comment. Uh-huh. Me and him are still best friends to this day. Um, probably like maybe a year ago tops. We're hanging out, we're catching up, and he's like, hey, remember when we played baseball? I was like, oh, yeah, that was fun. I wish we would have played that more with everybody. And he's like, remember when you said about my denim shorts, like you roasted me for wearing denim shorts? I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, kind of. Like, yeah, not you mentioned it, I do. He's like, dude, I I never wore denim shorts again since that day. He's like, I think I, <laughs> I, think I threw those denim shorts away. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's just so funny uh, uh, those kind of off the cuff comments you don't realize are gonna t- tear up someone's uh, day, you know, tear up someone's life. And hopefully, uh, if they're your loved ones or people you don't like, they think about it forever because that's just the kind of person <laughs> I want to be. Uh, All right, man, I, I, I got a I got a confession. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are you wearing denim you shorts have... right now? No. If I did, I would have cried. I would have thrown them away for sure. <laughs> I didn't know you were a Cowboys fan. Okay, so I think it was like uh, freshman year. Of, I, don't, I don't know, maybe freshman year. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it was in college, anyways. But um, I, I was wearing cargo shorts. Those and are cool. One of my friends uh-huh. was like, "Hey, Uh-oh. Andrew, you can't be wearing cargo shorts anymore." I'm like, "What? Why?" He was like, "What do you need all those pockets for?" And they're like, uh, "I was like, I don't know." He's like, "What are you going camping or something?" I was like, "No." He's like, "Dude." He's like, get rid of the cargo shorts. He's like, you don't need all that. He's like, car- he's like, cargo-, cargo shorts are out. And I was like, um, all right. I was like, whatever. I just brushed it off, right? I just said in my head, though, I'm never wearing cargo shorts, like shorts around this guy ever again. Cargo. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What's up, dude? Do I have anything in there? Dang, no, I do not. Uh, for for the listeners, I just had the reveal of the lifetime. I'm rocking cargo shorts and kind of prominently only rock cargo shorts uh, during during the summertime. And my wardrobe might only be cargo shorts strictly. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little attacked. Uh, <laughs> Wiz Khalifa wears cargo shorts. Uh, at least he did like 15 years ago. That's not cool. Yep. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, and then over this uh, past summer, that I went somewhere so where much. I had to wear cargo pants, and oh, it just okay. reminded me of my cargo, my like my shorts. And I'm yeah. like, dang, these pockets are useful. <laughs> yeah, they camping. are. They are. <laughs> were you, oh, so it was during the uh, your bachelor party? Yeah. Yeah. It was then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's when I, I wore them. And I was like, dang, dude, cargo pants. Like, just the pockets, they're so useful. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. I never. Cargo pants were never cool during my generation. You know how everything's like, uh, goes in circles, styles and stuff like that. And I never got to experience the comfort of uh, and convenience of cargo pants up until I was an, uh, a dad. And I'm like, these are the best. Well, I wish I would have had these in high school. They're so nice. It's, dude, as a dad, you could throw some cuties, little little those little baby oranges, some cuties in one. Throw some little, like, uh, little squeeze it apple stuff and, like, the little... <laughs> Little kids, mm-hmm. you know, toddler snacks. You could be ready to go. Bro. Exactly. And also, exactly. if you want to be a cool dad, take a take a little beer somewhere. Trust me, those cargo pants. You're gonna be good. So useful, man. But I was hurt by that comment that that guy made. I never wore them in college at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't wear them until I graduated. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. It's uh, still in my head. Yeah. Yeah, rent free. So I guess rent we free. we could get into this uh, <clears throat> article I sent you uh, recently. Um, the NYC mayor Eric Adams destroys four tons of seized cannabis uh, product by burning it. That seems like a pretty Ooh. smart way to do it. Um, I guess he has. It was over 
a thousand illegal locations, and it was estimated at sixty three million dollars. Um, I don't know. Does that that sounds like he's overselling four tons? But you know, eh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. There's a funny video also that I got queued up of him just like you, you know, my boy gets down. Let's see this one. Look at him. No way. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it is foot it's footage of um the mayor inspecting a the product uh at a photo op uh where the cannabis is gonna be incinerated. And what if it's all fake? I mean and yeah, and they kept it? That'd be cool. Yeah. I think he has my vote if that was the case. Uh the way dude. that he's smelling it though is like my boy knows what's up. He's like, oh, this is good stuff. He's like, this is dank. This is this is some good. Yeah, exactly. This is a good stuff. Or on the other side, he's like, what's this? You guys are growing. You guys are growing this trash out here in my city. Come on. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was that was one Dude. of the. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I was gonna say, have you seen the picture or the video of him introducing this new revolutionary? Um, it's like a I forgot what you call it. It's a new trash system that they have in New York. No. Um, and it's supposed to help clean all their streets. It's like something they haven't ever had before. So um, you should look it up. It's, it's a really cool picture and video, but it's of him like showing all of New York City that they're all going to get trash cans, trash bins, trash. They're bins. all getting trash bins. Do they? Do that's they not? It. Oh, okay. That's, that's it. That that's the joke. This, <laughs> this guy's getting so pumped about. Uh huh. All the trash, instead of it being on the side of the street, he's like, everyone's going to be putting it in a trash bin. Yeah. But it, they like making it seem like it's revolutionary, state of the art, all new stuff. And it's just like a huge, like it's supposed to be like a big deal. Yeah. But it, the rest of the whole, the whole country uses trash cans. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you know, I, I saw a documentary also about how like, the, obviously the trash is horrible and like, but it's like because how many uh, trash cans and stuff they don't have out in the open, but also like public urination, like or like is at a high time, uh, high over there between uh, the unhoused and I mean just even um, someone like me, dude. Like if I'm going like a, a tourist, like if I'm going out there, I'm gonna be drinking at uh, a lot of the spots. I'm gonna go find you know hit the bars. And I'm going to have to take a piss in between some spots. You know, I hear there's like no public restrooms. Or it's like it's very hard uh, to find a, a public restroom out there. That's crazy. It really is like a concrete jungle. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to send you uh, the documentary. You'll love it. You you like Nathan Fielder, right? Yeah. Nathan, for you? Yeah, it's uh, before we go, we got like three minutes. But I want to plug it. Um, How To with John Wilson. It's uh, on HBO and HBO Max. Uh, but Nathan Fielder... Wow is an executive producer of it uh and uh it's same kind of if you like nathan fielder comedy up the, along the same vein dude i feel like i finished the first season like all in one day binging it and it's cool what? because yeah yeah and it's cool because it's a documentary and um he's dropping like interesting information about uh obscure subjects or sometimes n not obscure you know like the <clears throat> Uh, the the New York uh, restroom system. I forgot what they call it, but it's like a drought area for public restrooms. And um, so I'll have to send you that. Uh, but it's wow. yeah, it's it's a good stuff. I, I I love that show. That's amazing. I didn't know any of this stuff yet. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that Nathan. Um, I do love Nathan for you, and I didn't know that he had a new show or that he was producing. So yeah, yeah. Um, I'll definitely have to check it out. What's it called? One more time. Uh, how, to How to with John Wilson, I believe. How to? No. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, he did all oh, three seasons. <clears throat> His show I actually started too. He was just like a, a filmmaker and documented like uh, people in New York because that's where he's from. And I believe it was like a web series on YouTube that got picked up and stuff like that. Wow, that's sweet. Dude, we should try to get him on the show. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, I, I love That'd him. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um,. Well, I want to say thank you for all the listeners to uh, tuning in as always. Don't forget to check out our website, palmtreesandprogress.com. Uh, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe on YouTube, Palm Trees and Progress. Share us to your friends. Uh, let, us, let them know how cool we are. Uh, I'm pretty cool. As Andrew yeah, mentioned earlier and so I showed, cool. I have cargo shorts on. And Andrew, I believe, has cargo pants on. I think he's pulling I'm out. I'm going to go buy some cargo He's shorts. pulling snacks out of his cargo pants. 
And uh, what are sunflower seeds in there? Yeah, <laughs> going to a baseball game. It's he, so nice. You can put so many. He things empties in a there. David, uh, just a whole David's thing in there. They don't stay as fresh as they would in a bag, but you know that's something you're willing to uh, sacrifice. Really? To each their own, you know. Yeah. Uh, and do you want to say anything before we gotta get out of here? Nothing, man. I thank you. Appreciate this hour. You know, I get to talk and spend hanging out with you, dude. I love doing this. Um, I do want to say, you know, let's go, Angels. It's Let's seven go, zero, hey, top of the six. We're, seven we're, zero. We're willing and dealing. Seven zero, dude. I, I know. I know a term. Seven zip. Does that impress seven you, Adji? Zip. Do I look cool? Dude, I can't wait for you to watch football this year. <laughs> I know. Actually, from like one season or two seasons of watching, I'm like dropping the lingo like a freaking fan, dude. I'm basically like the dude from the league. <laughs> Collusion. Oh. See, I get Collusion. it. Collusion. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. One thing, but I got to say before oh, we get out of here. I remember my sister when the Trump thing was happening and all the collusions. Uh, they were checking for it. She was like, "Did you mind?"